Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nuba is my name. And I want us to touch base uh, on the political happenings in Zimbabwe, especially involving the mainstream opposition that is the splintered Triple C, the Citizens Coalition for Change, which until a few weeks ago was being led by President, or let me say, Advocate Nelson Chamisa. You know that after Chamisa resigned from the party, some splinters emerged, one being led currently by Professor Welshman Nube, who says that he is, he is the vice president of the party and claims that he was vice president even during Chamisa's reign. And then the other one is led by Jameson Timber, who, as read by Promise Mkwanazi, is the acting president of the party and that splinter has indicated that he's still trying to negotiate a return for advocate chamisa into the fold of the party so that he takes over and then there is another one again which uh has turned blue is out of triple c but made up of people who are seen as loyalists to nelson chamisa and that one wears blue it hasn't yet publicized what name it wants to call itself but we have seen the likes of gift ostalo siziba who was the deputy spokesperson of triple c who has since resigned from the party in solidarity with chamisa going around the country with amos chibaya uh campaigning with nelson chamisa's image and they've been working the crowds in different play areas like maswingo bulawa and other areas then there is also Prince Dubeo Sibanda, who apparently is fighting with uh, Chibaya and um, Ostalos Siziba. But of course, they haven't fought that much in public. But there was a time where we saw some write ups from um, Dubeo Sibanda accusing uh, Chibaya and Ostalos Siziba of being the ones who are hijacking Chamisa's name. But now we are told that he's also joined the bandwagon and is pushing the blue movement. But now apparently there is something strange because Chamisa seems to be dissociating himself with any of these splinters, including the blue movement. And that we get from an affidavit that was deposed by Nelson Chamisa in court uh which was sown and dated at harare on the 28th day of february 2024 and signed nelson chamisa it says in article 4.3 i submit that this application is a revolting abuse of court process to grandstand and seek relevance by the deponent to the founding affidavit through tracking my name into this carriage it claims that I have, depoiled, I've, I've despoiled the applicant because some premises which I have no connection to have been painted blue and my face has been painted on the wall of the premises is completely bizarre. My image and name have been appropriated by many people who have no connection to me. In fact, the irony of the application is that since I resigned as the leader of the Citizens Coalition for Change, the applicant and the deponent to the affidavit, to the founding affidavit rather, have continued to use my face on their preferred local. I wish to reiterate that I have no special association with any color or any political organization or any movement. I take this again. I wish to reiterate that I have no special association with any color, any political organization or any movement. That is Nelson Chamisa.
Well, this statement is part of Chamisa's response to a founding affidavit in which Sengezo Chabang, who claims to be the Secretary General on the interim of Triple C, is suing Chamisa for the what he says is the defacement uh, of a building that is owned by Triple C in Bulawayo, which has apparently been painted from yellow to blue. And we are told that the building was painted by people who are loyal to Gift Ostalo Siziba and Amos Chibaya as they seek to lay the groundwork for the formation of the blue train, as they call it, or the blue movement, as some call it. So we stand watching what is going to unfold out of this drama. So this then throws those who have been going around the country on a crusade to spearhead the formation of this so-called blue movement. It throws them under the bus. Is it Chamisa? Is he using propaganda to free himself from scrutiny? Or he has got no relationship whatsoever with the blue movement? That is the question that is rising now. But we'll keep ourselves on the ground, our ears on the ground, our eyes on the surface to see what exactly is happening. But this is where we stand right now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.